Hello and welcome. In this half an hour video, we are going to train an object detection model in Torch to detect objects. This lesson includes step-by-step -step guide until testing the module. So let's start. Step 1. Set up the environment. First go to python.org and download Python. Install Python by following the on-screen instructions. Set up Python installation path in environment variables of your system. Install Torch. Install Torch Vision. Install Label Studio, which I have already installed. Finally, download YOLA 5 from GitHub. The link is provided in the description of this video. You can clone the repository by git clone command but I have already downloaded the zip file. Extract the file to a specific location. We have extracted it in here. This is the requirements.txt file, which has the list of packages required for YOLA 5. Open a command prompt. Copy the path to YOLA 5 directory. Change the directory of the command prompt to the YOLA 5 directory path by cd command. Type pip install minus r requirement.txt and press enter. I have already installed these packages. You have to download and install them. Step 2. Collect images for the dataset. In our case, we are training the module for detecting chair. Let's use Google to find images. More images makes it more predictive, and the minimum number is 100 images. And now we have a small data set, but you can expand the data set and add more images. Here are our images but not ready yet. Step 3. Arrange images in a specific dimension and format. Convert the images to a format supported by Photoshop. Let's open Photoshop. I am using this lightweight, old version, CS6 Photoshop. The images we downloaded are in multiple formats, and Photoshop doesn't support them directly. To edit them in Photoshop we need a plugin, but instead we will use MS Paint to convert them to a supported format. Import image and save them as, in a JPEG format. Once done close the MS Paint and proceed. Let's rename all the images. Arrange the dimensions of images. To arrange the size and dimensions of images, we need to crop and resize them. Let's import all image to Photoshop. Once imported, press C to open crop tools set aspect ratio 1 to 1 and make sure that objects are in the frame. Crop it. Then press Ctrl plus Alt plus I to resize them. I am resizing images to 416 pixels in dimensions. And do the same for all of them.
Now our data set is ready, but is half. Open a command prompt. Go to the project's directory. Create a directory named dataset. Inside the dataset directory, create two more directories, images and labels directories, each of them containing train and val directories. From the YOLA 5 Ultralytics GitHub, Releases section. Download YOLA 5S. PT file, and save it, in the YOLA 5 directory. Go to YOLA 5 repository. Create a new file named dataset.yaml. Type path, colon, path to the dataset directory, in our case it is stored in parent directory, in second and third line, type, train and val directories with the structured path from the dataset directory. In third line type in C, number of classes, to be trained, following by their names, in the next line. Step 4. Annotate labels, for the training images. Open a command prompt, type label-studio, and press enter. The label studio is starting in Django server, it opened a new tab in default web browser. Click on create. Type a name and descriptions for the project. Click on Save. From the settings of the project, select Labeling Interface. Paste this code, provided in the description section of this video. For the chair class name, we have defined green color. Click on Visual, turn the checkboxes on. Click on Save. Go back to Project. Click on Go to Import. Click on Upload Files. Select Images. Click on Open. Once the image is uploaded, select all of them. Click on, Label All Tasks. Click on the class name. Start drawing boxes, around the objects in the picture. Use hotkeys to adjust the view of object, provided in the description section of this video. Repeat it for all images.
Once done, go to Project. Click on Export. Select the OLO format. Click on Export. Once downloaded. Select the zip file, right click on it, extract it to a folder. Move images to image folder of dataset, 20% data needs to be in val directory, and 80% in train directory. Labels text files goes to corresponding images directory, and val directories and labels directory of dataset. Now we need to balance the module, we have to provide some background images, for the module. The background images contains inverse of objects, not the object itself. In our case, we are trying to detect chair, we will provide, door, table, stair, couch, sofa, and more, as background images. The number should be equal to the number of training images. 20% of background images goes into the VAL directory. The VAL stands for validation. Fifth step, train a module. Go to the YOLA 5 repository, open a command prompt in the directory's path. Type the command in the terminal, provided in the description section of this video. The train.py is a file in YOLA 5 directory, contains code for training the module. Dash dash image is used, to specify the dimensions of image. Dash dash batch is used to specify the subset of the training data that is processed by the network at once during single iteration. Dash dash epics is used for the number of times entire training data set is moved forward and backward. The training process takes less time on GPU but much more on CPU. Wait until the training process is completed. Final step, or result. Testing detection and prediction. Let's use an image from the dataset, and see if the module is detecting it, or not. Copy the image. Paste it in a directory. Open command prompt. Type the command provided in the description section of this video. The detect.py is script in YOLA 5 repo for detecting objects and images. Dash dash source is the source in which object should be detected, and could be video or image. Weights are the module to use for detecting the object, we are using our own module which we train now, located by the name best.py. As we see it detected one chair, and the result is saved to this location. Now let's use a custom code for object detection, which is a little different. Run the code.
This is the original image. This is the detected object. These are the dimensions and object position in the image. Let's use a different image, which is not part of the dataset. We are downloading the image from Google and using it if the module can detect anything in it. As we see it detects a chair in the image. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel, click on the notification bell icon, and be a part of the journey.